Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and in today's episode we are tackling another DIY Wednesday. And I'm super excited about this one because I've never done it before. You're going to be watching my trials and tribulations as they happen in real life. We are going to do Valentine's decor. So we're gonna make string art. I know, you might be sitting back going, lame but I actually think string art looks pretty cool and every time I see it at some craft fair downtown or something on Etsy or whatever I say I can make that I mean how hard could it be it's a block of wood with a bunch of nails in it and then you just string it all around and all together and make it look cute what a better time than Valentine's Day to make something that's cute you know you've probably seen them they're like normally a square piece of wood and they say somebody's name on it or whatever I didn't want to do that same old thing I decided that I'm gonna do blocks and I'm gonna make three blocks one's gonna be I the other one's gonna be heart and the other one's gonna be you and then that way I can arrange these blocks however I want I can put them wherever I want on my mantle on my kitchen counter or whatever if I get tired of it halfway through through and I only end up finishing the heart well then I've got a heart block and I can give it as a gift I know you are probably looking at me saying okay she's in her garage she's telling us we're gonna do a DIY but yet she's wearing a super cute black leather jacket I know I went to work and then I went to the Lowe's to get my nails for this project and instead of pulling in the garage I was like oh shoot I want to get this started right now and it's cold in my garage and I didn't feel like changing because this is real life and ain't nobody got time to always run in change their clothes when they know they just need to do something really quick I'm warm and I'm not gonna get it dirty and if I do it's a little bit of sawdust this jacket was not that expensive so I'm not worried about it so on the side of the garage over there I have a bunch of scrap wood from projects that I've done in the past I knew I just wanted something I can turn into blocks so I found this it was perfect I want to make three pieces I measured this and it's five and a quarter wide so each of my pieces will be five and a quarter by five and a quarter so all I need to do is make two maybe three cuts out of this wood, and then I'll be ready to string art. In my head, this plan is going to work perfectly. It's gonna turn out beautifully. Before you know it, I'll be like a string art professional. Cut three blocks, print out a block I, a block heart, and a block U, tape it onto my board, nail nails in it, rip off that paper, put string around it, done. It seems pretty easy but like I said I've never done this before so maybe I'll run into some I don't know kinks along the way you'll see I'll see too so like I said I know for a fact because I measured it with my ruler this piece of board is five and a quarter I want to make it a square so I'm gonna mark five and a quarter here and I'm just making three dots right here and then I'm gonna connect the dots to make my straight line so one line made I decided for this one I'm going to use my favorite a jigsaw was one of my very first tools that I ever asked for it's one of it still is my favorite tool I could have gotten out the circular saw but since these cuts are so small I just don't want to deal with it so I'm just gonna jigsaw this line there's my line and the only problem with the jigsaw is is you have to be straight unlike the circular saw it kind of doesn't move around a lot the jigsaw I mean it's for cutting like swoops and curves so you really have to be straight with this. So here we go. Done! It's not perfectly straight, but that's okay. Nothing a little sander can't do, which I was planning to sand this anyways because I kind of want to give it like, obviously I don't want these um, sharp edges, so I was going to round those It'll give it more of a let's call it farmhouse look because farmhouse is really in right now from what I gather so we'll make it farmhousey by sanding the edges and maybe the top and making it look a little weathered before we put our string art on it so that was cut one done oh and see jacket still good nothing got on it so don't worry you too can use a jigsaw in a leather jacket so Five and a quarter, but five and a quarter. Now I just need to do two more. Block number two. This one actually I think turned out better than the first one. Yay! All my blocks 
are now cut. Here they are. I heart you, Valentine's Day string art. Super excited. Okay, now I want to sand them a little bit. So I have fashioned my palm sander, my second favorite tool, with some 80 grit sandpaper for no other reason than that's what I had in the cabinet. I am just going to palm sand all of these edges and then I'm probably gonna stain them and then I will go inside and string art them. Palm sander, ready to go. It looks pretty cute. You could sand as little or as much as you want. This actually happens to be pressure treated wood, so that's why there are all these weird little lines in it, which I don't mind. I might rethink me actually putting another coat of stain on it. I don't mind that this is kind of a raw edge. I mean, if I wanted to, I could sand this side a little bit more to get, which I might do, and then that will save me on staining. So I'm gonna sand this side a little bit more to make it look a little more raw like that. I'm actually kind of digging the way this is turning out. Seriously, why are these blocks turning out so cute? Just wait till they have string art on them. I'm loving them. I'm not gonna stain them, I decided. I just really wanna start string arting and I have one more block to sand. So I'm gonna do one more block right now. Oh yeah. I was just lining them all up on the floor to see if they all matched. They all match. Didn't take us very long. Moving on to the next step, taking everything in the house. Okay, so I am on my family room floor in my comfy clothes now. TV is on and I am ready to get to string arting. You know how I had a plan in my head? Well, my printer was out of black ink. Sometimes shit happens. You just gotta roll with it. So I did just that. I just drew out an I in block letters, a U and a heart. I had already gone to the Lowe's and I picked up these panel nails they were kind of brownish and they had little heads on them. I didn't know how many packs I would need because again, I've never done this before. I'm winging it. I also went to the Michaels and I picked up an ivory color and then this kind of like orangey. Could I have done traditional like white and red for the heart? Yes, I could have, but I didn't want to. I just liked that color combination and I feel it goes with my like earthy of the rest of my house decor. So I am going to start with the heart. I guess the key is to have all of these nails at exactly the same height. I got them longer than one inch so that I could make sure that they're above the board one inch. I'm gonna start with the tip here. <laughs> I said tip. Mm, yeah, I think that's good. So that's what we're doing. The hammering and get it, trying to get them straight. Probably the hardest part. Okay, that seems good. There we have that. Boom, boom. So now we want these evenly spaced apart. An inch almost seems too far. We're gonna go with a half an inch. I'm just gonna nail these in at half inch increments and hopefully I have enough nails. Woohoo! Woohoo! Look at me! <laughs> Four nails in! This project could take hours. Just measure. Make sure they're as evenly spaced apart as possible. Yeah, I like that distance. Damn, that looks good. Moving right along, moving right along. Oh, you know what I didn't think of? Half inch is gonna make that one pretty close, but we'll just even it out on that side. Just learning as we go. Learning as we go. As you're doing them, they're definitely gonna be crooked a little bit. So don't feel bad about it. <gasps> One half done, yes. Moving on to the other half of the heart. <laughs> and DIY's done. Just put a bunch of nails in a board in the shape of a heart and voila. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Step one, done. Nails in a board. So now we just rip this off. Okay, so I have my string open, the one I wanna use for the heart. I just need to tie this around here, voila. I'm gonna leave the tail there for a little while. 
we're ready. We're ready to go now. So I'm gonna go around the outside, outside of the first one, on the inside of the second two, then back on the outside, following that curve around until I get to this one right here. And then I'm gonna go on the inside and then back on the outside, follow this curve around until I get to those two that mimic those two on this side, if that makes any sense. <gasps> that actually looks good. Okay, my heart looks really good. I've seen it where people just jig jag it, jig jag it closer to the top, but I'm thinking I wanna jig jag it on the bottom of the wood and then come back up and jig jag it on the top. We're gonna see what that looks like. So apparently when you jig jag it, you just make your own pattern. And I guess you just could jig jag it around as much as you wanted um, to fill it in as solid as you wanted. And I'm just gonna touch every nail maybe once or twice, I guess. Again, no rhyme or reason. I'm just jig jagging it. And then we'll go up to this one. And over to this one. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I love it already. I mean, that's pretty cute. And I haven't even done anything. And it's not taking any time. I was worried it was gonna take a long time. You could pick any color of string you want. This string right here, I picked it because it was a large ball and it seemed durable yet thin. And they had two colors that I liked. I contemplated getting this ivory color and red, but then I saw this orange color and I was like, yeah, that's for me. With the brown nails, I'm loving it. And my brown board, I'm loving every minute of it. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, I think that looks good. I like it. So we've got color on the bottom and now we're gonna go up to the top. And so I don't unravel all, everything I just did. I am, I'm going to tie it off. Good thing I left that tail there because I'm going to use it to tie this string to it. Bam. This is the bottom of the heart, so my knot is at the bottom. So when it's sitting up like this, you won't see the knot there. God, I'm good. Man. We're gonna do the same thing that we did at the bottom. We're gonna go around, and then we're just gonna go jig jaggy. Outside on the first one, inside on these two, and around. Under that one, over this, so that I can make my curve go around because you want your thread on the outside. You're drawing your outline, basically. So that's why you want your thread on the outside. Oops, I think I need to go in there. There's my outline on the top. So you can see my bottom outline and my top outline. So now it's time to jig jag again. I'm going right underneath the nail heads. You guys, I'm really liking this. I, I swear to you, I've never done this before. I know it looks like I'm like, seriously know what I'm doing, but it's not hard. Oh shit, okay, what did I do, what did I do? Pro tip, hold your finger over the, the nail you just looped around so that it doesn't come off. I don't know, I feel like I need to call this one done. I think it's cute. Bam. <gasps> we did it. That is cute. Happy Valentine's Day, America. The only thing I might do, I gotta go back and make sure everything's like pushed up to the nail heads and make sure all of the down ones are pushed down on the nail heads so that's all flat and even. I mean, come on. From the side. My nails definitely are crooked. There is some finessing I think I need to do to the nails now that the string's on it, but actually from the front, just looking head on, you can't tell that the nails are slightly crooked. Moving on to the I and the you, and then we're gonna have I heart you in little blocks for Valentine's Day. Yes! So now that the heart's done, I'm going to nail all the nails in my I and my U, and then I'm gonna start string arting those in my ivory color. So I'm gonna start the I. I'm gonna start in this corner here, just to hold the paper on. I'm gonna start with this one, and I'm gonna measure half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch. That way, if I need to adjust anything, because this is just straight, 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 I can come out a little more if I need to, or down a little more. And I'm gonna try to place them 
as straight as possible. I mean, I guess worst case scenario is I could take a nail out if I needed to, but I don't want to. Oh, that was my thumb. Okay, good. Looks pretty straight, so we're just moving right along. Okay, so I just thought of an idea so I don't have to keep setting my ruler down and doing my thing. I'm gonna actually mark my dots at my half inch marks right now. That way I can just put my nails at my dots, boom. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Boom, dots all along here, nail, nail, nail. Remeasure, dots all along, nail, nail, blah, 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 blah. The I is all done, and now we're moving on to the U. So same thing, just over and over and over again. I'm gonna start in this top corner right here and do the measuring thing because I actually really liked that on the I. Start with my, my starter. Measure, 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 nail, nail, nail. I'm gonna measure half inch, half inch, half inch. Make my dots. All right, nail, 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 nail. That's what we're doing. Okay, so the I and the U are all nailed and ready to string away. I've opened my, what is this? Aunt Linda's crochet thread. That's what I got, and I got it in ivory and that orange color, so now I'm gonna do the I and the U in the ivory. I didn't barely use any of this. I wanna say this was like three or four dollars at the Michaels. You could obviously save on crochet thread if you did all of your letters in the same color, but I'm extra like that and I wanted the letters in this and the heart in this. So now I'm gonna start with the eye and I'm gonna start with the center one and as we learned on the heart, I'm gonna do a long tail. So we wanna go along the bottom outside of our eye, except for when we come on the inside corner, you have to go on the inside of the nail and then back on the outside so you can get that outside straight line like this. And then we'll go here and back around. And voila, the outline of our eye is done. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. We don't mind. It's time to weave it around. So I'm gonna get all the bottom filled with color and then do the top. Bottom is filled with as much color as I want and now I'm going to do the top. The nailing is what took the longest, but the string part, that's easy. That goes fast. So I'm just gonna go willy-nilly like I did the heart until I think it's as colory or as dense, I guess. That is the technical string art term. As dense as I want it to be. Last letter of string art. I am super excited. It's the U. I'm gonna do like I did with the eye and the heart. Tie my little knot off. Around, up, over, and down. That was very easy to outline. Well, once I figured out what I was supposed to do right here, that was very easy to outline. So now I'm going to start filling in my bottom color, which I guess you don't really have to do. You could just do the top color, but I kind of liked a little bit of bottom color. Filling this all in at the bottom, close to my board, with color. The U is ready for its last layer at the top. All right, so making an outline. I can tell right now I did not nail these nails in very level. I might have to go back and fix that. Maybe not. Boom, done. Let's fill her in. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's do this, so this way, this way, this way. Bam! 
It's so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Seriously, happy fucking Valentine's Day to me. This is darling. We did it. We made it for the first time ever in our lives. We just did string art. And from the tops, I can't even tell that my nails are like not super perfect. So I think it's good. I think they're good as is. And we can rearrange them however we want. We can do I Heart You down like this. If you want to stack it, the possibilities are endless. We're fucking professionals, dude. Can't even take it. I heart you. Happy Valentine's Day. DIY. It's amazing. I am super stoked about it. I mean, come on. If you don't think these look cute, you're insane. Because they look amazing. All right, so all it took, what are these? Panel nails. I went through two and a half packages of these and I went through hardly any Aunt Linda's crochet thread. So I, I went through hardly any of that. Look at this, I could crochet if I knew how to crochet. <laughs> Next DIY, we're crocheting with our leftover string art thread. No, I'm just kidding. I wanna string art more stuff. I don't know where I would put it in my house, but this does make a cute gift. I'll tell you what, you put someone's name on a board and string art it, that's legit. There we have it. I heart you. Valentine DIY, and that's it. It was as easy as that. If you liked this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I try to push out new DIY Wednesday videos every other Wednesday at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you share this video with your family and friends, and until next time, thanks for hanging out. I mean, come on, seriously. We just string arted the shit out of this project. Look at how amazing this Valentine project turned out. Seriously.